Greetings everyone and welcome to this quick tip for rendering an interior scene in Blender. In this project I want to light my scene with a sun lamp and an HDRI sky texture. Uh, and while modeling I left the back faces behind the camera open which will allow as much of that world light in as possible ultimately reducing the noise in my final render. But I don't want that HDRI sky texture to overpower my scene. So let's create a custom world material that'll help us fix this problem. And it should also be noted that I'm using Troy Sabatka's Filmic Blender, which is a new color management system for, uh, for cycles rendering. Uh, I definitely recommend checking that out if you don't know about it yet, because it's pretty amazing. Okay, so let's add an environment texture to our world background. And we'll just move it up and out of the way. Now with Shift D, we can duplicate it and bring it down. And in the first environment texture, I'm going to open a sky HDRI. And so that we can see that in the viewport under display, we can click world background. And now our sky is visible in the viewport. And in the second environment texture, I'm going to open up an interior HDRI that I have. And I chose this one in particular because it has nice warm colors that I think will look good in the final render. So let's combine these two with a mix RGB node, which as you can see in the viewport looks kind of weird right now, but we're going to separate it. So uh, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to add a gradient texture to separate this mix RGB. So we'll type Shift A and go to Texture, Gradient Texture and we'll plug the color into the factor of the mix RGB and then we'll give the gradient texture its own mapping coordinates. And I also want to add a color ramp so we'll type Shift A, Converter, Color Ramp. Now if we move the black and the white closer to the center we can sharpen the transition between those uh, two HDRIs and if I go into top view, I can use the mapping node for the gradient texture to move it forward on the positive X location and that will help me center those two HDRIs according to the position of my model. And in this case, a value of 0.45 works. But the rotation is wrong because I want the interior HDRI to be facing those open walls, which is the negative Y and positive X axis. Uh, so I can use the Z rotation on that gradient texture to rotate both HDRIs together uh, so that it better suits the, uh, the scene. Okay, and I think that that looks pretty good. So now if we view the world background from the inside of the model, we can see that the sky is indeed behind the window and the interior HDRI is in the correct position. But because each HDRI has its own mapping coordinates, uh, we can customize each one. So I might want to rotate just the interior HDRI uh, to get a better angle. But we still have to fix one problem in that uh, currently both environment textures is being controlled or the strength is being controlled by one value. So in order to fix that, we can duplicate this mix RGB node. And now we need to add a math node. So type Shift A and go to Converter Math. And we can just leave this at Add. And I'll position it in front of the first environment texture and duplicate it and position the other one in front of the second environment texture. Now if we plug the color of each environment texture into the first input on each corresponding math node and then the value or the output into both of the inputs on the mix RGB node. We can then use the, uh, the mix RGB as the strength of the background or the, the world lighting. But we still need a factor for this mix RGB and we can just use the the color ramp from the gradient texture as the uh, factor for the mix RGB. 
Okay, so that's it for the world material. So let's go into rendered view now and we can actually see what's happening. And it looks like the interior lighting is kind of overpowering the scene. And I suspect that that's because the strength of the exterior light or the sky is too low. So let's take the interior lighting down to something really low, like negative 100. Okay, so now we can just focus on that light coming from the window, that uh, cool blue light coming from the sky. So let's take it up to something really high, like 200. Okay, I think that strength works a little better. And now if we bring the interior lighting back up to a, the value of 0.5, now if we watch them blend together, it starts to create a very cool and interesting and natural uh, interior lighting effect. And that's it for this video. So if you found it helpful, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.